Hello, it's Amy with Dewdrops Photography. I want to show you how I edit this image with the Newborn Collection 1. The first thing I'm going to do is just clean up the little things right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and get my patch tool and take care of some of these really large bumps on her face. These angry little buddies. I find that if you use a spot healing brush, it's not as clean of an edit. So I want to go ahead and Try to get it as clean as possible by selecting the skin that needs help and then dragging it over to the skin that's it, that is healthy. And I don't do that, I don't normally have to do this with the small bumps, just these larger ones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this right here. And that didn't look too good on that part. Delete that. I, I do feel like she's got this little kind of like she's frowning right here. So I'm going to do the select that little area and try to make her look a little bit happier. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move over to the spot healing brush. And I know this is a little tedious, but that's what newborn photographers have to do to clean up this beautiful newborn skin. Got this little thing over here. I don't know what that was, but it was bugging me. And we'll just go ahead. I guess I won't do every single bump right now. I'm kind of rogue with my mouse. I kind of just go all over the place. Uh, there we go. That looks better. I kind of, if you notice, I go from bigger bumps to smaller bumps. I don't have a rhyme or reason. You want to make it really small on the edges of like the folds of her skin, like around the nose or the mouth. Okay, that is good for now. Go ahead and zoom out. All right, so the first thing about this set is the baby foundation. I absolutely love it. I feel like it gives the whole image a nice kick and, but I want to make sure, I'm not going to leave it at 100% opacity. I'm going to bring that down to about 40%. That's just personal preference. That's before and after right there. And we're going to flatten that. Then I'm going to go to the Natural Baby Skin Smoother. And I'm going to just give her, and I have a few things running, so my it's taking longer than normal. 50% opacity right up here. You can change your opacity by just hitting the digit. So four is for 40, five is for 50. And with your bracket keys, you can make your brush bigger and smaller. And that's why I cannot get rid of my mouse because I just think it's quicker for me to do this this way. You wanna make sure you're not just gonna smooth her face. You are also gonna smooth the areas that are in the forefront of the image. The background doesn't really matter. You're not gonna notice that, but near the front, you want that to be even and make sense. All right, so there's before and after on that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Awesome. Command Shift E to flatten. Then I'm going to go to the Soft Color Boost. And at 20% opacity on my brush, I'm just gonna give her lips a little bit of color. Okay, so there's before and after there. And then with my large brush, I can also use this for her cheeks to give her cheeks a little bit of color too. You don't wanna do too much. Just give her a nice little glow, healthy skin look. Next, I will go to the Paint Away Red Splotches. And at 50%, I'm going to get rid of some of this red around her nose. And that looks good. The Jaunus, Remove ja Paint Away Jaunus is also amazing. If you've done something where you think, oh, I don't, I don't want the, to remove the red right there, just use your X key and mask it back off. All right, 
And by X, I mean you can change it back from white to black brushes just by hitting your X key on your keyboard. Okay, so I'll flatten that too. And I'm going to go back and get rid of some more of these little bumps. Alrighty, uh, so now I'm going to go, let's see, I think I want to add a little bit of uh, haziness to it, and I really don't know which one I want to use right now. You can run them all together and play with them that way, but I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to stick with London Bridge. And it looks crazy at first, but you just bring the opacity way down. I usually do 15 um, and then maybe 10. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm going to use something totally different. I'm going to use hot cross buns. And I'm going to bring that one down to about 15%. And there's before and after there. All right. And the next thing I'll do with her is I will take the Subtle Fill Flash and at 40% I will just make my brush really large and just do one little pop, one little click of color or lightness over her face. Just to make her face, I want her face to be the first thing you see, of course. So that's all I have to do for that. It just really makes it pop. And then I'm going to zoom in and zoom out. And you guys probably do this too, but now I see this little uh, piece of lint over there and a couple more bumps I want to take care of. All right. Uh, no, and I just noticed something. I normally use the um, sharpened lashes Darken and sharpen lashes. Her lashes are nice and dark anyway, and her eye line is really dark as well, her eyelid. But normally, I would take my opacity down to about 20, and with a very small brush, just brush over. You don't want to make it, you don't want to make fake lashes where they don't exist. At least I don't. You can do whatever you want, but I just want to go over what's already there. Now, if they did not have lashes, I would just take my, and she's fine over here, that's gonna be too much if I do that. I would take my um, small brush and just do a line across their eyelids, just to make those pop, but I'm not going to do it with hers because hers are already dark. So before and after there, and then again, if you've done too much, you don't like it, you just bring your opacity down. And there you go. Thank you guys so much. Oh, let's do before and after real quick. Before, after. Awesome. Thank you.